Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time tuning in, thanks a million for tuning in. Hopefully you find something of interest. So in my last video, I tried to learn the bunny hop technique and what I want to do in this video is bring the bunny hop technique into jumping. I have done a few jumps out on the trail, nothing massive, but I think what I tend to do is squash the jump. So that probably stems from years of horse riding and I probably think that instead of the mountain bike I'm on a horse. So uh, we'll see if we can change it today. What am I going to do first is record myself actually uh, doing the jump and then look at it back, which is a really good idea in anything, and see where I need to improve. I have a jump here, uh, so you can see it's small enough. There's a little bit of a gap here, uh, not too much, and it's not detrimental if I land in the gap. It's not going to cause any problem. So let's see how I get on. So I've analysed the footage, and exactly like I thought, I was definitely squashing the jump. So what was I doing? I was coming in, preloading as normal, and at this point, instead of standing up tall, I was actually squashing down, pushing the bike out in front of me, and very much as I ride a horse over a jump, I was more or less the same on the mountain bike. What do I want to do? Here will be the same, I'll preload as normal, but at this point, I want to stand up tall and use what I've learned from the bunny hop technique. If I stand up tall, this means that the bike can get up underneath me, which means I should gain more height with the bike, and then equally I will gain more distance. And that will then give me confidence for approaching a bigger jump or a gap jump, hopefully. Let's see if I can put that into practice. I definitely feel that's an improvement and it feels like I'm standing up. I think I've another bit to go. But in the meantime, I want to make it a little bit more fun and hopefully give myself some confidence as well. So I'm going to do a run. I'm going to see where my back wheel lands and I'm going to use these as markers and see if I can improve it on the next one. I'm hoping this will also help me out in the trails where if I do see a gap jump, that will give me confidence that I can actually clear it. Managed to clear that. Do you think I should try a little bit further? Okay, why not? Let's try. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video.